What are you doing? I'm trying to find these bullets. We're doing a little gun sighting in here from the Wallaces. Well, soon to be Wallaces because we're getting engaged. To, I mean, getting engaged, getting married <laughs> in March, March 10th. I figured I'd do it, an official introduction to all of you. So y'all are going to be seeing a lot of her in the up and coming videos. I'm excited for that. We are going to do some hog hunting this evening. Um, we got a new box of bullets here. She's shooting a 25. They box. match my gun. They do match your gun. You're blue. But she's got a 25 odd six. I've got a 6.5 Grendel here. This AR I've had for a really long time. It's got a night vision scope on it. So I'm gonna shoot the steel down there. It's, yeah, it's still down there. We're gonna shoot the steel and make sure that both these guns are dialed in and then go do some hog hunting tonight. Probably just gonna be hunting from the high rack and the samurai, but it'll be fun. There's gonna be lots of uh, new stuff on the channel. We're gonna be doing quite a bit of hunting here at her dear lease. She's all aboard the whole YouTube train and she's been in a couple videos. You guys have seen her. And I hope that you guys are excited to, to uh, see her joining in on some videos. She's a great camera woman. So she's gonna be doing a lot of that for me. I'll try my best. Yeah, she'll try her best. And then there's gonna be a lot of weekends where she'll be here at her dear lease here in West Texas. And then I'll be probably down in South Texas at the Real McCoy Ranch guiding. And so you won't see um, a lot of us together all the time during hunting season, maybe. It just depends on, on how busy we're looking this fall and this winter at the ranch. She's gonna be self-filming. I'm gonna give her one of my cameras and she's gonna film a lot of hunt. Now, she's got a bow and I told her, you're, you're bow hunting this fall. So she's gonna bow hunt. I'm gonna get her all set up with some, some stock archery arrows and all the good stuff. So she's gonna be doing some bow hunting for the channel and then there's gonna be some stuff of us together and then a bunch of videos from the ranch, the real McCoy and then of course um, our other lease back home so lots of fun and exciting things i hope that you guys are excited for it as well i think i'm done blabbing now i'm gonna let you shoot i gotta find some ears other than the ones that i got attached to my head need some to go in here we took one shot a piece and I think uh, it's going to be really close to on. He changed brands of ammo so it's always good to check zero whenever you change even though it's the same grain. But I'm going to take this 2x6 down here and we'll shoot it just to kind of cover up some of the holes that are down here on the steel. Not holes but the splats so we can actually see where the, the bullets are hitting. We'll probably shoot, I don't think you can probably just shoot one more time and know exactly where you want to be and we'll probably call it good from there if i were you i'd aim for like that, that. yeah that hole right there because you can probably pick that out of your scope pretty good for 25 out six is on other than when i shoot it that one was yours that's my probably my grendel because it's a little bit smaller and then that was my 25 out six shot I saw them in the scope. So this was yours. You're aiming here, so mm -hmm. you're you're pretty dang close. I think we're ready to go hunting. That's all within a fist size group at 100 yards. Okay. Okay.
So Cam saved our butts again. I wish I'd have brought my light and I told myself before I ever even walked away from the side by side, I was like, I should probably bring my red light and I didn't do it. But she got one. It's her first one. Mm -hmm. How long? Yeah, I've shot some. Yeah, but it's been a while. It was super, I mean, it's you guys can tell it's super dark. And it would have been tough for anybody to make a shot. She smoked it and rolled it right over in 25. Ow, stupid bug. 25 watt 6 did the trick, so let's get up here and take a look at it. Good shot, man. Hi, piggy. Hey. Was that the way he was? That's probably the exit, because I think he was facing the other way, wasn't he? Or was he not? Yeah. I think he was. Yep, because that's right where I was. You were aiming right aiming. there. Aiming. And it probably went out on the yeah. other side. Yeah, that high shoulder shot's perfect. Ha! Didn't even move. <laughs> he drops him. Awesome. Good job, babe. Thanks. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. A little boar. I'm playing with a new toy tonight. I've already done one review on this thing. This is the Commander NV100, made by One Leaf. It goes on rifle scope. I'm going to show you that guys that here in just a minute. But uh, adjustment, or uh, not adjustment, but the focus knob here. It's got digital zoom. Uh, you can record. You can do all these things with it. I'm going to show you guys the pig um, with it here in just a minute. I'm going to see if my camera will actually pick up with this thing. I don't think it has a camera attachment for, or a lens attachment for a camera. But this thing is stinking sweet. Those trees that we're looking out, out at, kind of at the horizon, or even in between their horizon in here is about 100 yards way out there is that tree line that we're looking at right now is like a good 250 300 yards and i can do some zooming if i can get my fingers on the button even though it's digital zoom i've been really really impressed with how well this thing zooms and how it still stays pretty dang clear of course i'm mm. it's hard for me to make it focus because i'm using both my hands holding the camera and the night vision monocular in the other hand but it gets much clearer than that out at that way far distance. I've been really impressed with this thing. And then it zooms in all, all the way back out. So it's pretty sweet. We're going to go look at the hog. We're going to scan the field with it. I'll we'll show you guys some other features. I'm going to put it on the rifle scope. I was going to put it on her rifle tonight. But I didn't know if putting, it, putting that night vision monocular on her scope was going to change her point of impact. And I didn't want to risk anything. Because this was kind of short notice. This is a hunt that we weren't really um, anticipating because we thought it was going to rain we thought we were going to get completely rained out but did you well anyway it's raining you hear it yeah or well, we're getting rained on now but <laughs> i will in a future video i'm going to go ahead and put this night vision monocular on uh either one of your rifles or one of my rifles and we'll take it out and we'll actually shoot a pig with it or something next time we go to your lease i'll put it on I would have done it tonight if, and then we, because we had plenty of time, but I don't have a place to shoot her rifle, like a range or anything, just to make sure that her point of impact wasn't going to change. So that's why we didn't do it tonight. But it's we're going to play with it some more, and like I said, I'm going to do another video on it. I'm not going to go into super uh, great detail on it in the later video, but I will go over some other things if we don't get rained out. I'm going to we're going to going to get some footage. I got to fill a protein feeder really quick, which when we're over there doing that, I'm going to film some of that and then i'm going to show you guys some of the trail camera pictures from uh, that spot that new setup that was in the previous video if you guys haven't seen it go check it out but before we get rained out let's get moving across the field and do a couple of last minute things look at the ground the night the night that i put protein in this feeder and i filmed that whole video there was pigs all over this thing and deer have been just completely hammering it. And it's really nice because the pigs, except for some of the bigger ones, they can't get their head up in there to get the protein out. The raccoons have unfortunately figured out that they can come down the tree trunk and get them some fistfuls of this stuff, which they absolutely love. So it was, what day was that, last Thursday? 
-hmm. I think it was last Thursday I uh, set up this spot. Today is Tuesday, so it's been five days, and they cleaned the entire thing out. And all the corn and all the protein on the ground, too. I didn't have a little SD card in here, but I'm going to show you guys some footage straight from this camera. It just takes a little micro SD card. This is a little 32 gig card. And it's got a little cover here. There's a port for charging it, so no batteries, unless you get some replacement batteries that go in this tube right here. But I keep this thing. I don't have the lid with me right now, but it comes with this nice little carrying case right here just to store it. Sometimes I let it ride in my bag. But here's your different size tubes. These interchange out here on the end. And this one's for a 45 millimeter scope. This one's for 42. And I think there's 48. So it goes to different, uh, different knobs for different scopes. And I think your scope's like a 42 or something. But I'm gonna show you guys some more footage from this field where I can actually zoom in and do some recording from this thing and then we're going to put it on the rifle scope and I'm going to show it to to y'all from that uh, point of view as well. They're really awesome. I can get it out there on that tree line. That tree line out there is a good 300 yards or better. It's hard for me to get this thing super focused without my big infrared light. But anything to be able to see it anything within 200 yards easily and with a big infrared light you'd really be able to see a long stinking ways pretty neat there's a raccoon or an armadillo you see it? yeah I would have never, he just jumped. I would have never known that he was there. I've not been using this thing. Focus in on a object, like an animal. He's a good 7,500 yards away if I'm zoomed in really close. That's really cool. Here's an up close look at our pig. You want to be in this? <laughs> I didn't know you were <laughs> I was about to get a little bit. It looks cool. So clear. I'm really amazed. I can't wait to stick this on your scope. We're going to put it on your scope. Okay. Golly. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't point that in your face. Infrared's not good for your eyes. Bushnell scope. It's not obviously not mounted to a rifle. Um, here is the NV100. As you can tell, it goes on the back side of the scope, not the front. This is the correct way to have it mounted. You actually have a different eyepiece right here that you can change out. But this is what your whole setup is gonna look like. All you have to do is loosen these two set screws right here by my thumb. That allows you to adjust, tighten, or slide the night vision portion back and forth onto the scope itself. And this is how it all lines up. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. And it's not overly heavy. I've got the onboard infrared on right now as you guys can see in the camera but i'm gonna line it up and show you all some scope footage Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you just recording? no i wish i'd been about 10 seconds sooner you can look like me with a little rusties <laughs> what do you think it's really cool isn't it Where are you going? This is a stop sign.
you have to hold your head back further on your stock but otherwise it's pretty neat it lines up really well when you take the time to get the right um, alignment and get it tightened down and all that i don't know if it's going to change the point of impact so we're going to have to test that before we use it in another video Shoot it. <laughs> With what? <laughs> <laughs> Bigger infrared, we'd be able to see out there very, very well. There's a bow target. Whenever I get this set up, completely mounted and ready to go we're going to do a full length video on this and taking a hog um, but i'm also going to use my sniper hog lights my big like my 50 lr um, led my infrared led and this thing's really going to shine we're going to really see it perform well out at you know 200 300 yards and i'm super excited for that if you guys will want to stay tuned for that one thanks so much for joining in on this one and we're going to get back to the regular part of this video i'm a little unprepared as far as lights go so we're being blinded by the the buggy lights but these spur of the moment uh hunts typically turn out to be pretty good and i hadn't really had pigs coming to my feeders here like in the last couple two or three weeks um they had been coming early anyway and we caught them like in the last 10 15 minutes of daylight mm -hmm. just super fun it was really nice and i'm glad it turned out the way that it turned out because she was able to see just enough of their scope i was able to see just enough with uh, my binoculars camera on the other hand it didn't come out so hot i would have put the night vision monocular on her scope which i'm going to show you guys some footage of that here in just a minute uh, but i would have put that on her scope but i didn't know if it was going to change the point of impact and if we we're going to have to change you know her sight or scope on her gun and i wouldn't have to do that we don't have a range here because i only bow hunt this place so <laughs> Um, you guys are in luck though. I did uh, tell her that this was her first and only rifle hunt on this property. She's been wanting to shoot a pig really bad and I knew that they were around because I'd been seeing them and they were really consistent in the morning time. Just not so much in the evening but she really wanted a pig so I'm going to figure it out make you make you happy. So. But anyway, always a fun uh, time out here at the lease. Um, we're not at her deer lease anymore in case you guys didn't notice that I filmed the intro at her deer lease We're now at my deer lease. We saw one pig. We didn't even get it on video We saw one pig and one coyote at her lease two deer and two deer and that was it It was really really hot and really slow But well, my stands covered up we yeah. didn't go to my stand. The day that we left her stand her feeders covered in hogs which is about the way it goes for us But that's all right. We had fun anyway and we're going to be doing a bunch of this, and deer season is right around the corner. You got any closing words? No. No closing words of wisdom? No. I was, I was getting um, skeptical, though, about this because it was getting dark. Right. I couldn't see anything. Well, I got it. We're going to forward, fast forward into the portion of the video where she's cleaning and then cooking this thing. So <laughs> it's going to be a run, It's going to be a running joke in all of this. Everybody got a kick out of that. Oh, the last one? Mm -hmm. The last time I said that. Yeah. Yeah. You sure. clean it and cook it. I guided you. Mm, My job's you. over now. So right. you're up to, okay. you're up to bat. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, you are awesome. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We're growing really, really fast. We're gonna be at 100K before the year's over, I'm pretty certain. So if you haven't done so already, be sure that you're subscribed because all my subscribers are gonna be uh, entered into a hunt giveaway style of video. And I'm gonna do uh, an exotic or a whitetail hunt in South Texas at the Real McCoy Ranch. So it's gonna be really awesome. Um, and before I close out, I want to say a huge thank you to uh, One Leaf Technologies for sending over the Commander, the NV100. It was really, really neat, and I will keep that thing in my bag. It's going to be a, a big, uh, helpful tool for us, especially on her lease, because we're looking at much bigger, larger areas. And so I'm excited to be running that on 
a scope somewhere and helps out with getting footage and everything else. But huge thanks to them, and I can't wait to, for a, the next video. It probably won't be the next one, but an upcoming video of using that thing on a scope itself. We're going to get a really good look at that, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in just a few days.